Oh, turning to some other news now, delivery staff at Gunderson Health System now have a state-of-the-art way to prepare for any situation that might occur during a live birth. News 19's Roger Stafferoni recently getting the chance to witness this high-tech teaching tool in action. And Roger, you and I are both parents, and from what I saw of the simulator, it's about as realistic as can be. Dustin, it is something to behold. A simulation childbirth that is one part device and one part real person. Now the patient actor straps into the AV birth simulator and then is prepped, including the computer program. Then the delivery team comes in and the birthing process is underway. The patient reacting as any patient might, concluding with the baby's arrival, it's definitely been a game changer for staff practice. Before we got this new um, piece of equipment, we were using mannequins and it's very different with a real person, someone that you can make eye contact with, someone who will talk with you, someone whose legs you can move more lifelike, um, and then to actually have a birth. Now the patient actor gets the cues regarding contractions when they come, how intense and how long by a wrist worn device, and then the facilitator can control the release of natal fluids. Dustin, it ultimately makes for a simulation that everyone takes seriously, and in the moment when it's all happening, it's treated completely like the real thing. Yeah, and I imagine, Roger, something like this comes with quite a cost. Oh, yes, it does. All told, it runs $61,000, and they've gotten a big supportive nod from our local Children's Miracle Network hospitals, saying that it is a big help with their littlest patients. All right, thank you, Roger. And keep in mind, you can support CMN Hospitals through their annual Radiothon coming up next week.